that's where the pipe is, yeah? At the, almost at the center of the pool. Actually, we can use negative 750. And then, the, just the other ones are going to do, they're going to calculate for themselves. And for this one, the blue one, it's the delivery. Oh, sorry, this is the delivery. So we can start with the, uh, the supply. This one, for the supply. The diameter pipe is 150 millimeters. Oh, okay. So this is just a a basic one. I'm not going to go into into depth about all this, about the mechanical flow or the type of insulation. No, I'm just gonna do a simple, simple, simple drawing. So from at the center, move your pipe to there. <coughs> then all the way to the last one then now move it here center okay so you see it has already rerouted itself now just connect these other ones up to there and then just make sure you just do all the others like that from there to here do it automatically so that's the power of Revit it's super powerful like super powerful so that on undo I just click on it and just change that to a straight line like that super responsive and super fast and uh, we <laughs> we missed one pipe over here but it's okay so from there to there there we have it it's so easy see <laughs> it seems like magic you know so we went through it from here now to this other pool so because of this one just click on this one just move it to there it's gonna change automatically so for this one just delete and now click on this and connect it here and then a t-junction is created automatically come back here from there to here, and from there. I don't see the water supply, but uh, from my judgment, it's just gonna be from this one to make it just from one place, you know, to there, like so. So the delivery line is going to come from here, the water is going to come from here, so I can just place it, I can just draw it from here. Ensure you always minimize the number of the number of bands that you have when working with pipes, okay? So this one is good. So now let's do this other one. This other one is the scheme on I presume. So I'm going to click, click on the bleachers, then EH to hide. Click again, EH. Yeah, so we have the schema line and the main suction, suction line. Okay, so just come here. So, schema, we're gonna put the water return, and it's gonna be lower than the other one. So, if the mid elevation is that, let's work with the top is going to be negative 900 and it's going to do the calculation automatically so from the center there so back to the main sanction line so this one there there we have the schema then now we can put for this other pool so i'm going to change the diameter of that one just come here change diameter to 300 so from there to the main 
which is here.